welcome to my bedroom. Um, today's tutorial is going to be very near and dear to my heart. We're going to talk about my favorite beauty product or tool that I own ever, the wand. The wand. I'm really excited to teach you guys how to use it. Um, so let's get started. Step one is the blowout. So I only recently learned how to blow dry my hair with a regular blow dryer and a round brush. I do think that looks better, but it's super duper challenging. It took me 29 years to learn how to do it. Up until that point, I was using this guy. This is a hammer style blow dryer. I discovered it in the eighth grade. Every single one of my girlfriends had one. I've had about 10 since then. They don't last very long. Sometimes they start um, getting like burned out and they'll just shut down and you have to literally blow into it and it like comes back to life. Anyone who's used this knows exactly what I'm talking about. I also used number four uh, blow dry lotion. I discovered this about six months ago from Caroline on our brand team. It totally changed my hair styling. It cuts at least 10 minutes off my blow dry. It's really incredible. Step two is hairspray and clips. So now my hair is clipped up. I've used my hairspray. This is Diva Curl hairspray. I really love it. I actually started using it because it's formulated for curly hair. Before you begin to wand, you have to put on the glove. Wand burns hurt. You need to protect yourself. The most important thing is that all of your waves don't go the same direction. The hair closest to your face has to go backwards. So the wand is down. It's behind your hair, and you're wrapping your hair around the wand backwards. Right now, this looks very boingy. What's gonna happen as I continue my whole head is they're gonna become more waves, less curls. So, I'm taking my second piece of hair, and the one closest to my face went backwards. This one's gonna go forward. So, in this case, we put the um, wand in front of the hair. Okay, so these two curls, I don't know if you can see that, they're like going in towards each other. They love each other. We're gonna alternate all the way around. So when you get to the top section, what I do is I actually take just the front very two like chunks of the top section, like, like pretend you had bangs. And I do like pin these back up. So I'm gonna look really cool during this last little bit. So now that we're at the top section, same thing as always, spraying the hair. But you just, the closer to the top of your head you get, the more thoughtful you wanna be about the directions. The very last thing left is this, you know, faux bang layer, because I don't actually have bangs, but these are really important pieces. So, we're going to spray, as usual. How do I look? You let these two pieces down, and you definitely want these front pieces to go back. Now, my hair is all wanded, and you're probably thinking, but it still looks really crazy. So now I'm gonna teach you how to sort of brush and shake it out. First I start off with a dry shampoo or a texturizer um, and sort of spray it all over just to like mess it up a little bit. Now it's starting to look like a little better, a little more natural. The final step is to take a serum. My favorite is Kerastase. Um, one pump. Also, depending how oily your hair is, you need to know whether or not you can put this on the whole head or just the bottom. So everyone should put it on the bottom. My hair doesn't get that oily, so I'm comfortable like using a little bit on the top, but if you get oily hair, you don't wanna put like a shine serum on the top, especially if you're trying to make this last a couple days, which I definitely am. That is my wand tutorial. I hope that you learned a lot. Thanks for joining me. Leave me ideas in the comments, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.